heard once that the average person barely knows 10 stories from childhood, and those are based more on photographs and retellings than memory. So even with all the videos we take, the two boxes of snapshots under my desk, the 1,276 photos and folders on the computer, you'll be lucky to end up with a dozen stories. You won't remember how it started with us, the things I know about you that you don't even know about yourselves. We won't come back here. You double click it, and here she is singing it. This is why I love technology. Because I have things from the, I mean, this is like my favorite artifact of these kids, is that voice. There's no way to describe it in a journal or see it in a picture or whatever. It's just all the things that will bring it all back to me. It's that voice. So it's just a song that I made up and I, I sang when I was like two and I can't remember all the words to it. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. This is an original song by Claire. Grinchy, scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy. What, 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 what mean grinchy, scrunchy? I didn't feel an urgency to write a letter until I realized that Georgia, who's only in third grade, was already changing. She was already shifting into um, patterns that I thought were going to happen later when she was in middle school. You know, she was already wanting uh, more time with her friends, emailing, starting to call people on the phone just to chat, you know, and not uh, just luxuriating in mom time. Like I'm really second fiddle to the world now and I just didn't, I didn't think that was coming this fast. So that was when it was clear to me that something was ending that would never come again. I mean, we'll never come back here. That, that, you know, is just like, like the other day I was lying with her and we were just hugging and then I just said, I'm gonna miss you so much. And she was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, you just gonna, you know, you're not gonna be this girl. And that means I'm not gonna get to be this mom because I'm gonna have to be screaming and yelling at you all the time to get off your cell phone and stop texting and clean up your room and get that eye makeup off and put better jeans on and take those thongs off and get out of those high heels and you're not going to that party. And you know, and just all this. So just the other night when I was looking at her, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna miss you so much. Go ahead, tell me when. Oh, I'm gonna nudge you. Okay. Oh, you go through it twice. Yes, I okay. go through it twice. Okay. Yeah, you stand right there on that thing. It is your job to touch me on the shoulder mm -hmm. when it's time to go. She doesn't know when to go. Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. Let's give it a whirl. But I feel so lucky that they will have this book. No matter what, no matter what happens to me, when they have a nine-year-old, they will have this book to look back on and to remember this is what it felt like to be your mother. But when I'm a mother, it will be changed and the daughter will do everything. So my whole life, I will not have to work and it will be great. Yeah, I hope it works out that way for you, sugar. Hi, sweetie pie. How are you? Can I have a kiss? <laughs>